In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install applications on the HP controller from the HP App Store. So I've connected to an HP controller with IP address 192.168.56.93. I'm gonna log in with a username of SDN, and in this case, password of Skyline. The version of controller in this example is 2515.1175. When I click on applications, I can see that the default embedded applications are installed on this controller, but there are no third party applications or other applications installed. So purchased applications shows no applications. I'm gonna click on launch app store, which takes me to the HP app store. And I can see in the HP App Store that there are three circles of applications. We have circle one applications, which are applications developed by HP and would include applications such as Network Optimizer and Network Protector. Circle two applications are applications developed by HP partners. Examples would include the BlueCat DNS Director, Evolve Orchestrator, Hyperglance, Kemp Load Balancer, and other applications. Circle three applications are community applications, such as Flowmaker Deluxe, Blacklist, and SDN Privatizer. So going back to the controller, notice we only have the built-in embedded applications the menu on the left-hand side is the standard menu that you get with a new controller installation. I could, as an example, select the Network Optimizer trial. This is a trial application, so it's free. If I click on Network Optimizer, I can then purchase the application. So let's click on the trial application. I'm gonna click on download. I'm told that a new window will open to verify your ID. If it does not appear, disable the pop-up blocker for this website. Here's the pop-up. So I'm gonna log in with my username and my password. Click OK. I'm now signed in to the HP App Store. and the application is now downloaded from the HP App Store. So as an example, I can see here that the link application has been downloaded to my local machine. As an example, once again, I could go to Network Protector, Trial, click on Download. Application is downloaded to my local machine. So that's an example of how to download applications to my local machine, but I can also do this directly from the HP controller. So I could go to login to view applications. In this case, I have to log in again. I'm signed in and I now see the applications that I've purchased from the HP App Store. I could, as an example, install Network Optimizer. So in this case, the HP controller connects to the HP App Store and downloads the application. In my example, I'm running the HP controller in VirtualBox. So the HP controller uses tokens from my local Windows machine when I logged in to then log in to the App Store and download the application. I can now deploy this new application directly on the HP controller. And as you can see here, the application is installed and has a state of active. We can also see something similar over here showing that the application is installed. Now I don't see the menu, so what I'll do is refresh the web browser and notice I now have a network optimizer for link as a set of menus. I can click on dashboard to see 
options available directly within Network Optimizer. So as an example, I can go to Configurations, Global Quality of Service Settings, and here I can set the quality of service settings for Network Optimizer. Points to note. Internal applications installed on the controller extend the functionality of the controller. The web GUI is extended, so additional options are available once this application was installed. The REST API on the controller could be extended. So internal Java-based applications are installed directly on the controller as I've demonstrated here. So let's install an application from the community and see a potential problem when installing applications that are unsigned. So I'll install Flowmaker Deluxe. So I'll do this directly from the controller. I'll click on Login to View Applications. I have to log in. And I'm going to click Flowmaker Install. So in this case, I'll install Flowmaker. So I'll click on Install Flowmaker. We receive an error. App could not be verified. Unsigned file Flowmaker. So there's a problem installing this application. On page 90, Security features. In the HP Van SDN Controller 2.5 Administrator Guide, there's a section explaining how to run applications on the controller without a JAR signing validation. The SDN Controller enforces JAR zip signing validation by default. For an experimental or a development environment where unsigned applications need to be deployed, JAR signing validation can be turned off. And we told here how to do it. So in PuTTY, I'm gonna SSH to my controller, login, sudo service SDNC status shows me that the controller is currently running. The first step is to stop the controller service. So sudo service SDNC stop. The controller service has now been disabled. I now need to edit this script. In this case, I'm gonna use nano, you could use VI, or another application that you prefer. I'm gonna search for this part of text and the piece that I need to add is this. Be careful in this guide. Here they show you DSDN sign jar equals none, but you need to have the backslash in your script, otherwise it won't work. So make sure you add this. Control X to exit. I'm gonna save the file and then I need to start the controller service again. So sudo service SDNC status, controller service is running. Refresh the controller GUI. You may need to wait a while for the services to start up. So I'll pause the video at this point. I'll refresh the page. Controller service is back. I'll log in to the HP App Store. And now let's try installing Flowmaker again. In this case, we get a different error. I'll uninstall this application. And this could be a problem with that app. Let me try doing this manually. So I'm gonna download the app manually. and then click New 
browse, select the app, click upload, and click deploy. The app has now successfully installed. Refreshing the web page, notice I now have the FlowMaker application running and I could select one of the switches in my Mininet environment and I can see flows on the switches. In the HP App Store, be aware that you have applications developed by HP partners, but you also have community applications. In the same way, when you download applications from the Apple App Store or Android App Store, community applications may not go through the same vigorous testing that an HP app would go through. So as an example, a small business application developer may not have the resources to test the application in the same way that HP has for their own applications. So you may encounter problems where, as we saw in this example, the app wasn't signed by the developer. Now, once again, you can bypass that by making changes on the HP controller. That concludes this demonstration showing you how to install applications on the HP controller and how to solve potential problems when installing applications on the HP controller.